Hello everyone, welcome to a new video. Today, as you already saw in the title, we'll be checking whether installing photovoltaic solar panels at your home is a good investment or not. And to check that, I will be bringing to you first-hand reliable information from my parents-in-law. And I mean, uh, me and Anna are not married, but I thought that it sounded better than saying my girlfriend's parents. Anyways, as I was saying, we'll be looking at their case because they recently installed photovoltaic solar panels at their home, more concretely this past March 15th, 2020, so right before the situation got worse with the whole pandemic. And I think that this video is in a pretty good timing because first, we have that they have been already using these solar panels for 8 months, but we still have very recent information when it comes to the prices that are currently in the market and that you have to pay for the solar panels, as well as the current regulations that are in place. But before we go into the video itself, I think that it's important to set some expectations beforehand of what is the content that I will be sharing today. So on that, we will first have a look at which are the specific models that my parents-in-law installed, how did they did it to install them at a reduced price, and of course the total cost of the installation of the panels. Afterwards, we will be looking at some numbers when it comes to the production of kilowatts hour for the solar panels installed, as well as some regulations that are in place and that essentially allow you to sell the excess of electricity to your energy provider, which is good, but it also has some downsides and we will go over those. And after all of these, I will be, of course, answering the question of the video, which is whether or not it is a good investment to install photovoltaic solar panels at your home. So with that out of the way, and after I remind you that if you enjoy the video, the best thing you can do is to give it a like, as it helps me out tremendously, let's go for it. Looking first at the installation of the panels, they installed 10 photovoltaic solar panels of the model that you can see in the screen, which is a GA solar monocrystalline of 340 watts of power. In total, with these 10 solar panels, they have a total power installed of 3.25 kilowatts, which is estimated to produce yearly around 4,040 kilowatts hour of energy. And of course, this is just an estimation and it will depend on the environmental factors, whether it ends up producing this much of electricity, maybe more, maybe a bit less. If there are more sunny days on one year, then of course it will produce more, but maybe if one year it rains a lot, then it will produce less. But now going over some numbers, how much exactly did it cost them to buy and then install these solar panels? For that, they did it with a company which is based in Catalonia, so the region of Spain I'm from, which is called Som Energia, which essentially is just focused on solely renewable energies. And their main activity is focused solely on the production but also commercialization of energy only and solely coming from renewable sources. One of the things that they offer are the so-called collective purchases and essentially this is just grouping lots of different buyers that would like to have solar panels in their homes and they do a collective purchase going directly to the wholesaler in order to get lower prices. And of course they don't only do that but they also install them at your home and in the case of my parents-in-law they bought 10 solar panels plus one inverter uh, and the total cost of that was of 5,738 euros and 20 cents. And just to give some more details of that and clarification this includes of course the prices of the solar panels plus the installation and also five years of guarantee although these solar panels are expected to last 20 to 25 years. Nevertheless, now let's go into the numbers part to see which is the return on investment that you can expect from this. For that, as we already said, we will be using the example of my parents-in-law and now I would ask you to pay close attention because there are several factors that come here into play when doing the calculations, uh, so we'll be going through a few numbers. Firstly, as we said, we have an initial investment of 5,738 euros and 20 cents. And once we have these solar panels installed, we can expect that they produce, as we said before, uh, around 4,040 kilowatts hour of energy per year, which turns out to be roughly, if we were to divide it equally throughout the 12 months, 336.67 kilowatts hour for each month. Nevertheless, the reality and something important to remember is that these solar panels do not produce the same amount of energy throughout the, the whole year. So in summer months, when there is more sun, more light hours, they might produce, let's say, 500 kilowatts hour of energy per month, while then on winter months, when it's very dark and maybe even cloudy, then the production might be under 200 kilowatts hour. But with this clear and to continue with the calculations, we now need to see how much energy do my parents-in-law use for a full year. 
In their case, their yearly average is around 9,515 kilowatts hour of energy, and it's important to note that uh, in their house everything runs with electricity, so they don't use any natural gas, and everything runs just with that. So now, if we were to look at it, we could say, whoa, awesome, they are able to produce approximately 42.46% of the energy that they use a year with the solar panels. But the truth is that they cannot really use all the energy that they produce. The reason for that is that during the peak hours of generation of electricity, which is usually around the middle of the day, uh, it is usually when there is also less demand for it. So you might be producing a lot of energy, but not necessarily using it in that moment. And here comes a key part of the video and what makes this investment much better, so please listen carefully. In the case of this example, my parents-in-law do not have any batteries in order to store this electricity when they are not using it, basically because they are very expensive. But as we said earlier on in the introduction, now there is a new law in Spain, it has been uh, for already for a year in place, that allows you to sell the excess of electricity that you are not using to your energy provider. In their specific case, the company that they have their energy with is Som Energia, and they essentially buy the kilowatts of energy exceeded from my parents-in-law at a price of 5 cents per kilowatt hour. And if we compare this with the regular price that they have to pay for the regular energy that they buy from uh, Som Energia, they usually pay around 15 cents per kilowatt hour. So we see that they are getting paid three times less for the energy that they produce than what they have then to pay. Of course it is not ideal to sell it so cheap, but it is certainly better than what we had before this law came into place, in which essentially you just could not sell your excess of electricity to anyone. Alright, so now we have the average production that they have of their solar panels, as well as the prices that they pay to get electricity and get paid to sell this electricity. But now we need to see how much of the energy that they produce they can use themselves and how much of it do they sell to the energy provider. In the case of my parents-in-law, based on the previous months, they have been able to use 75% of the energy that they produce themselves and the other 25% they have sold it to the energy provider because they just could not use it in that moment. So doing that, we have that out of the 4,040 kilowatts hour of energy that they produce every year, 3,030 kilowatts hour will be used directly by them, while 1,010 kilowatts hour will be sold to the energy provider. Perfect, so now we are already at the point in which we have all the metrics and information needed in order to calculate which is the return on investment of putting these solar panels. For it, we first need to see how much money are they saving because they are using the energy that they produce themselves instead of buying it from the provider. In this case, if we multiply the 3030 kilowatts hour of energy that they produce and are able to use themselves by the 15 cents per kilowatt hour that they would have to pay to the provider if they were to buy it from them, this would mean that they save every year 454 euros and 50 cents on that. But that's not it, because now we also need to include the 1010 kilowatts hour of energy that they don't use, but that they are selling to some energy, the energy provider, for 5 cents per kilowatt hour. And on this, they are making in total 50 euros and 50 cents every year. Adding both of these figures, we see that they are saving, so the money that they save plus the one that they make, uh, in total 505 euros per year, which is not bad. And if we divide this by the initial investment, which was of 5,738 euros and 20 cents to buy the solar panels, we see that they are getting an annual return on investment of 8.8%, which is not bad, but actually this return on investment is not very accurate and we will go over it in a little while. But if now we express it differently, dividing the 5,738 uh, euros by the uh, 505 euros that they save every year, we see that it will take them 11.36 years to recover their initial investment. So now looking back to what I just said, why did I say that this 8.8% of return on investment was not accurate? Well, this is because we need to consider that we will never recover this initial investment of the solar panels that costed 5,700 and so on. And this is because after 20 to 25 years, these solar panels will either not produce energy or very little. And essentially, we will just have to throw them away and we will not be able to get any money for them. 
So after seeing that, let's go and check the real return on investment that we are getting for these solar panels. And for that, we will of course consider, as we said before, that uh, the solar panels uh, cost in total 5,738 euros and 20 cents, and that they do not require any type of maintenance, and that this is all our initial cost for the 20 to 25 years of lifespan. Moreover, for this estimation and to make it more conservative, we will assume that the solar panels last for 20 years. And so now, taking the previous amount that we set of 505 euros that we save on electricity each year and multiplying it by the 20 years that these solar panels are producing these, we see that in total we will have saved 10,100 euros. As I said before, this is what we will have made after 20 years, but now we need to deduct the cost of the solar panels, which was of 5,738 euros and 20 cents, in order to get what is left for us net after all of this period, which in this case it is of 4,361 euros and 80 cents. Which, if we divide over the initial investment that we made of 5,700 and so on, uh, this means that over these 20 years we are making a total return on investment of 76.01%. And if we get the equivalent yearly return of that, it equals to 3.8%. Okay, so now that we already have all the numbers behind the solar panels and that your head is probably already about to explode from looking at so many numbers like mine, uh, let's go over some conclusions. Personally, I really like the ethical part of it in the sense that you know that you are doing something to contribute in making this a greener and more sustainable planet. Also, it is important to note that you are kind of like self-sufficient as you are able to produce most of your energy yourself and this of course gives you a good feeling. On the other hand, from an investment point of view, I think that the return is relatively low with this 3.8% at least at the moment and uh, there are many things and many factors I think that could ruin your investment. Because what if the panels just break after 15 years instead of 20? Or what if during the lifetime of these solar panels you need to send one time or two times a technician to repair something? In both of these cases then your total return would be much lower. But now looking at it also from an optimistic point of view, it could also be that your solar panels last for 25 years and then of course you get higher return on your investment. But wait, because that's not it. One of the other many factors that come into play is the fact that we have considered that the numbers that we have just shared now will stay the same for the next 20 years in terms of price of the electricity as well as policies, which I think that it's very unlikely. Most probably, and following the trend that we have been following, and also because of something which is inflation, the prices of electricity will tend to go higher and higher every year, and if this is the case, then of course you will be saving even more money by having the solar panels, because you will be able to produce your own electricity at of course a much lower cost. Finally, another important point is that we have assumed that this law of being able to sell the excess of electricity stays in place, because if it were to be removed it would have a very negative impact on the returns. Nevertheless, I must say that I don't think that they will take away this law, especially if we are aiming to be more environmentally friendly, stop the global warming and also incentivize more people to get solar panels at their homes. Anyways, summarizing and giving a final conclusion on it, from just an investment point of view, I think that it's a good investment if you are a very conservative person who does not invest in anything else, either stocks or real estate or something else. Because although the returns might not be very high compared with other forms of investment, you will most likely be getting a positive return investment uh, by having these solar panels, and even more importantly, you will be contributing to making this a greener planet. In any case, that was it for today, and now my question is, what are your plans? Do you think that you will be installing photovoltaic solar panels? Do you already have them installed? Please let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, then please make sure to give it a like, subscribe to the channel if you are not yet subscribed, and as always, see you next time.